Thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Visit omaze.com slash Porsche. Earlier this month, Tesla delivered their best car ever, the new Model S Plaid Edition, which is the quickest accelerating car in production today, thanks to some brand new components that we've never seen before on any Tesla vehicle. Now, the main features being the three high-performance motors with carbon sleeve rotors and an all-new interior design. However, there are some important details that Tesla chose not to tell us during the event, and today we will try to find out what exactly Tesla is hiding from us. Now, when Tesla first launched the Model S nearly a decade ago, they would assign a number to each model based on the corresponding size of the battery pack. So for example, Model S 75D meant it had a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, and the D stood for dual motor. A Model S P90D had a 90 kilowatt hour battery pack, and P stood for performance. But starting more recently, around the time that the Model 3 was released, Tesla no longer names their vehicles based on the number of kilowatt hours in the battery. Instead, they have categorized their vehicles in a few different variants, including Standard Range Plus, Long Range, Performance, and now Plaid. Now, the term Plaid is derived from the movie Spaceballs and has basically replaced what used to be called Performance for the Model S and Model X. Now, during the Model S Plaid event, Elon Musk went through many of the new features fairly quickly without diving into specific details. He announced the new carbon sleeve rotors, which sound like they're the first of their kind for any production electric motor, and he mentioned the newly designed heat pump with increased efficiency, but he quickly mentioned something else right before announcing the motor. Take a listen. So uh, we have an, an all new battery pack, and then something we're really proud of is the new carbon sleeved rotors for the motor. He said there's an all new battery pack which would seem like it's big news, but yet he never mentions it again for the rest of the event. And Tesla hasn't gone into the details of that all new battery pack. I don't know about you, but I think a new battery pack deserves some more airtime. So why did Tesla gloss over that so quickly? Well, let's go back to September to the Tesla Battery Day event where they announced a breakthrough in battery technology with the development of their brand new in-house 4680 tabless battery cell. Now, Tesla described it as a much more efficient way of producing batteries on a much larger scale that will cut the cost per kilowatt hour by 56%. Now, these new battery cells are easier to manufacture with fewer parts and have a shorter electrical path to reduce heat. They have five times the energy, 16% more range, and six times the power. They will also be part of the vehicle structure, allowing the cells to be packed more densely. Now, this was huge news at the time because the main and most expensive component of an electric vehicle is, of course, the battery. It's what separates it from gasoline vehicles for the most part. Now, at that point in time, all Model S and Model X vehicles used the older 18650 battery cells manufactured by Panasonic. And before last week's Plaid event, some people were speculating that the new Plaid Model S and X would contain the new 4680 batteries. But now it's pretty obvious that the new models don't have the new 4680 cells because if they did, Tesla would have definitely mentioned it at the event and the specs would have reflected it. Now this, along with the fact that just one week prior to the Plaid event, Tesla announced the cancellation of their upcoming Plaid Plus model, which makes me wonder, what exactly is the status of the new 4680 battery cells and what batteries are being used in this all new battery pack? Let's first address the Plaid Plus. In my opinion, the Plaid Plus is never going to come and here's why. Elon tweeted that the main reason Plaid Plus was canceled was because the new Plaid model with 400 miles of range was good enough. And since the Plaid Model S achieved a zero to 60 speed in under two seconds, there's probably not a good enough reason to produce an even quicker Plaid Plus along with an even quicker second gen Roadster. If Tesla does indeed plan to go through with the 600 plus mile Roadster in the next year, then a Plaid Plus just doesn't make sense unless Elon changes his mind about the range. And then if it's based solely on range, it could make sense to have all the range milestones covered, 400 miles for the Model S, 500 miles for Plaid Plus, and 600 miles for Roadster. But Cybertruck should cover the 500 mile range, so that's why I don't think the Plaid Plus will ever come to fruition. Now, before we continue, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Omaze, who gives away prizes and experiences while donating money to charities. And Omaze is giving away a one-of-a-kind 1968 
Porsche 912 that has been converted to an EV by Zelectric. Who needs a Taycan when you can have this battery powered Porsche Classic? This unique 912 comes in a white exterior with 917 inspired green graphics, a black and white houndstooth interior that seats up to four people, and it has 300 horsepower that helps it go zero to 60 in 5.5 seconds, which is what my Model 3 does, and trust me, that's fast. It's the perfect mix of vintage racing and modern sustainability. For this giveaway, Omaze has partnered with Peterson Automotive Museum, which explores and presents the history of the automobile and its impact on global life and culture. It's a progressive center for automotive research and collecting, which includes reaching underserved communities. And your donation supports the museum to extend its education programs and aid in the development of the new exhibitions, events, and activities. To potentially win the all-electric Porsche 912 and support a great cause, go to omaze.com slash Porsche. Now going back to those last two vehicles I mentioned, the Cybertruck and Roadster, those almost certainly rely on having the new 4680 batteries in them to achieve their expected level of range and performance. And right now, Tesla is still only shipping cars with their two original battery cells, the 18650 cells for the Model S and X, and the 2170 cells for the Model 3 and Y. The question is, which cells are in the all-new battery pack for the Model S and X, and how many kilowatt hours is it? The amount of kilowatt hours is probably safe to assume to fall somewhere between 100 and 115 kilowatt hours given that it was 100 kilowatt hours in the latest 2020 Model S. But are these new Model S and X vehicles the first of their kind to use the 2170 battery cells that have only been used in the Model 3 and Y so far? Well, earlier this year, Tesla said that over the past few weeks, they have been upgrading their Fremont factory to launch the new Model S and Model X. The changes include new battery modules, battery packs, and drive units, and other improvements. Now, while the Model S and Model X battery module architecture evolved over the past eight years, both the battery pack and modules have now been fully redesigned. Although Tesla didn't reveal whether that means an update from the 18650 cells to the 2170 format, that transition seems pretty likely because most of the prototypes, including the Semi and Roadster, are using 2170 cells. So if we assume the all new battery pack has 2170 cells, what else would make the Plaid's battery pack new and redesigned if it's not the 4680 cells yet? Well, one answer could be new voltage. The one thing Tesla seems to be behind certain other EV manufacturers like Kia and Porsche is the 800 volt electrical system, which claims to achieve faster charging and reduced weight, allowing them to travel further between charges. Earlier this year, Kia confirmed that their upcoming EV6 will have around 300 miles of range and offer a sub 20 minute recharge time. And this of course requires a 350 kilowatt fast charger station and the emerging 800 volt systems can commonly hit 250 kilowatt charging speeds. According to the updated Model S user manual, the new battery pack nominal voltage is 450 volts. So assuming a 3.6 nominal cell voltage, this means that the new battery pack could very well be 125 cells in series instead of the old 96 cells in series. A Tesla V3 supercharger station suggests a maximum of 500 volts. So extrapolating from that, we could see a peak of 300 plus kilowatts charging on a V3 supercharger if the Plaid's new battery pack is capable. And it seems that it is if you extrapolate a Model 3 battery to 100 kilowatt hours, which is what the new Model X and X batteries most likely are. This photo posted to Reddit shows a new Model S charging at 246 kilowatts at a 34% state of charge, which is very promising. Elon even mentioned that the new Model S can add 187 miles of range in just 15 minutes. He also hinted at possibly faster supercharging speeds up to eventually 350 kilowatts, but didn't specify a timeline for that. Either way, at a 250 kilowatt average charging rate, the new Model S and X battery pack could theoretically regain up to 250 miles in 15 minutes. Now, those fast charging speeds, along with the new higher voltage and possible switch to the 2170 cells, could add up to be the all new battery pack. But the question still remains, what is the status of the 4680 batteries and was that the real reason why the Plaid Plus was nixed? All the vehicles that are supposed to get the 4680 batteries have either been delayed, canceled, or still aren't here yet. This isn't too much of a surprise though because at battery day, Elon emphasized how difficult this new battery production will be and that they were still working out the kinks. 
The 4680 battery cells have been in production at a pilot factory in Fremont, and Elon said it would take about a year to reach the 10 gigawatt hour capacity for the pilot. Now, the plan for the actual production is about 200 gigawatt hours. Elon Musk reiterated, we're not saying this is completely in the bag, there's still a lot of work to do. That is very true given that their two biggest factory priorities are Giga Berlin and Giga Texas. Both are being built for the production of the new 4680 batteries and Tesla's next flagship vehicles, the Cybertruck, the Semi-Truck, and the Roadster will all be reliant on those new batteries. Hopefully Tesla is still on an optimistic track with their new battery production. I personally am waiting for the 4680 Model Y before replacing my wife's gas car. What do you think of the new battery pack in the Model S and X? Do you think the new 4680 batteries are still on track or is Tesla having issues with the ramp up? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Tesla and tech videos. My name is Andy. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Visit omaze.com slash Andy Sly Porsche.